Welcome to this video on this Sauerman Psyker 130 flue gas analyzer. Now, if you didn't see my first two videos on this flue gas analyzer, the unboxing and how to set up, then I will leave a link in the description below. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this on flue gas analyzer mode and also how to pair it with this printer and my smartphone. Anyway, let's get on with it and find out exactly how we're going to achieve this. Now let's get this Sauerman Psyker 130 flue gas analyzer actually ready for analyzing. So if you've not seen my other videos on the way this goes together, these have color coded O-rings. There's a black one and there's an orange one. And down at the bottom of the analyzer, there's black, orange and green. So we need to put the black O-ring, not this blue cap, the black O-ring into the black section. Then the orange plug, which is just a blank, goes into the orange. And then the temperature probe goes into TF. Now I think in my other video, I say it goes into TA because that's what I was told, but it actually goes in to the one on this side here, the TF, which is the temperature. So that's how we set it up. Now I've got the probe connected. The probe can't be in the sample point of this ideal volt boiler. And what I'm gonna do is press and hold this button down for three seconds. And now the analyzer will go through its startup procedure. It says the smoke probe must be plugged to the analyzer and out of the stack. So it's out of the stack of the flu and we're turning it on. Now we've got a 60 second first purge for this. So when this is over, I'll get back to you. Now the flue gas analyzer is ready for being used. Big problem with the boiler though. It's a plastic cover. So there's two big magnets here on this analyzer, but it ain't gonna stick to plastic. It sticks to the metal on the side. So what I'm gonna have to do is, while I'm doing these tests, is hold it. Now we can get this probe actually into the boiler. So we've got the little stopper set, ready for going in the product of combustion sample point. Now what I've got here is the tap. I'm not gonna put it, use the heating or the high and low setting because I just want it to stay on for a little bit to show you it working. So I'm just going to turn the hot tap on here. So now the boiler is fired up, I'm going to put the pump on. So I just need to press down here at the bottom and the pump is now working. And what this is going to do is suck in those products of combustion and give us a reading on the screen. Now before you actually do take your readings for your analyzer, just make sure at the top here, you're on the right gas. Now, it says here natural gas, but if it says natural gas and then some letters after it, you possibly could be in the wrong setting. So just make sure you're using the UK setting. I'll show you that a little bit further on, but just make sure it says natural gas if you're on natural gas and LPG if you're on LPG. Anyway, let's have a look now and see what this is actually reading. So at the moment it's saying we have an O2 reading of 4.46. We have a CO of 27, 28 parts per million. We've got a CO2 of 9.24. We've got a ratio of 0.0003. And we've got a flu temperature of 59.2 degrees centigrade. So that is what this boiler is reading at the moment with this tap running. Now, once you're happy with the result you've got, what you can do is press the pump button again and it will stop. Now, what it will do is it will hold all the information on the screen. Let me just turn the tap off now. So now we've got all this information, there is a few things we can do. Now, one of them is print. So what I'm gonna do is press the print button. 
Now, what it's doing is, it's searching now for a printer, which I've got here. But first of all, I need to turn the printer on, because otherwise it can't search for it. Now, if you need to feed some paper from this printer, just press this button down, and a bit of paper will fly up. So the printer is now on, I know it says, hard doing this with one hand, but there you go. Search for printer. It's now searching for this printer. And it's now found the printer here. So I can tick on the little blue circle to say I've got it. So what I can do now is go back out of the printer, go into the analyzer again. It's still on the screen. So this time when I press the print, it should print off for us. And there you go. It has now printed off that information onto the printer. Another thing we can do is we can save it, but I'll show you that later on because you've got to set up all the data and all the other stuff to save it onto the machine, but we'll do that in another video. So that's another thing we can do is print it. But if I go back to the analyzer again, there is more we can do with this. I can actually mirror this on my smartphone. Now, if I want to share my screen with my smartphone, first thing I've got to do is make sure the Bluetooth on this is enabled. So I need to go into settings. I need to go into general settings. And you can see there it says wireless connection has not been activated. So if I open the app on my phone and I go on to search for device, it says searching for device, so I need to turn on the Bluetooth and it's found it straight away there. So I need to click onto that and now go on to connection. And you can see it's now found it, it's successfully found it. It says it's gonna take a few seconds and we can now see it's taken off the screen onto here. So our readings have gone off the screen onto here. So we can now put that somewhere else and this can work. But if I turn the pump back on, we can see it will actually mirror the two of them on the screens. So that's how to mirror the screen of the analyzer onto your smart device. Now remember, this can go onto Apple or Android.